Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss about conformal and non-conformal mesh. Both have their advantages and disadvantages. First let's see what is conformal and non-conformal mesh. These are used whenever you have multi-zone meshing. It means whenever you have more than one region. Here on the left side is the conformal mesh and you can see in this conformal mesh the node in different zone or different region are matching exactly. For example this node, they are sharing this node. Similarly in these two region, they are sharing all those nodes. It means whenever two different region are sharing nodes, such kind of mesh is called conformal mesh. On the other hand, in non-conformal mesh, the different zone do not share any node as you can see over here or over here. There are some advantages and disadvantages for both kind of mesh. In conformal mesh, it is difficult to mesh. On the other hand, non-conformal mesh is easy to mesh. We will see through exercise and we will do both of these meshes. In conformal mesh, you have less control on the mesh and it is difficult to mesh and you always get higher number of elements. As you can see, you have to match these nodes so to match these nodes you have to refine the region on this side in non-conformal mesh you can have much uh, coarser mesh on the solid side and you can have finer mesh on the liquid side then one really important point whenever you do a conjugate heat transfer it means whenever you have solid and liquid and there is a heat transfer across the interface when you use conformal mesh so or you can say shared topology okay one thing before that in conformal mesh you normally use shared topology so whenever i am saying conformal mesh i mean shared topology interfaces in conformal mesh are handled automatically on the other hand in non-conformal mesh you have to take care of interface and you have to address each interface separately then the last point uh, it is only my observation or what i experienced so far normally people say that uh, you get the same solution in conformal and non-conformal mesh it is true but sometimes you get problem in the data transfer it is because of the different number of elements for example here you have i don't know 10 elements or here you have only one element so in this case when the data will transfer through each node you know that there is a interpolation so here you have only one interpolation and here you have interpolation in 10 elements so here you might get some problem in the data transfer so that's why i have mentioned no problem in data transfer across interface and here you can have some problem from problem i mean your solution might not be accurate and also i have observed some divergence so for example i was doing one simulation for uh, porous media in porous media i had known conformal mesh and i was having divergence on the interface then i used conformal mesh everything was same and i got the results so these are the some advantages and disadvantages for both type of meshes so you have to decide by yourself I prefer to use conformal mesh but uh, as I mentioned it is not always possible so sometime I switch to non-conformal mesh. Let's go to our uh, ANSYS meshing and see how we can do conformal and non-conformal mesh. Here is our geometry that I want to mesh. First I will do non-conformal mesh and then I will do conformal meshing. Here these blocks they are uh, representing the prismatic cell. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 and 6, 12 prismatic cell. And here, this surface, this one is the bottom plate. It is another metallic plate. It could be of aluminium or uh, normally it is of aluminium. So I'm trying to simulate a bottom cold battery. Although I will not be doing the simulation in this video, but we will do this simulation in one of the video. And uh, just as a side note, normally there is always insulation between these battery cells and the base plate and these uh, are the liquid channels which is passing through these base plate so let's switch to the 
ANSYS meshing and we will see how we can do non-conformal mesh. We are in meshing module now. Whenever I do meshing, I always start with the default parameter to check what is the element size. And normally default gives you very coarse mesh and it is really fast. I Without doing anything, I just hit generate mesh button. Here when I check this mesh and you can see I get really coarse mesh. And here you can see I got this non-conformal mesh. In non-conformal mesh, you saw that in space claim I did nothing. I did not use shear topology. When you don't use shear topology, you always get the non-conformal mesh. And here you can see these nodes are not matching. Here, this one is our solid, this one is our also solid, and this one is our fluid. And for fluid, this mesh is really coarse. We can make it finer, and here it looks fine, but uh, let's make it little finer. So element size, I'm changing element size to 8. And here to make it finer and uh, to have add some element in here, I will be using uh, capture proximity and I will be saying, okay, not three, but four element and size, I will be saying 0 0.5. I did this uh, meshing before, so I know these numbers. That's why I'm putting these numbers, but for you, you have to do it gradually. Here we got the mesh and uh, you can see we got pretty good mesh and here we have a non-conformal mesh. Remember one thing, whenever you are using non-conformal mesh, the ratio or the maximum difference between the element should not exceed 5. Here if you have one element, so on the other side the element should not be more than 5. Similarly, here you have one element and here you have one element here, one, two, so this ratio is fine. But here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Here you have a lot of element or disproportion. Here you will not get good solution because the data transfer will, will be really bad. Either you should coarse this mesh or you should refine this mesh. But the good thing with the conformal mesh, you can control each mesh individually. For example, let's see, I want to uh, refine this mesh because this one is the liquid and liquid should be finer. I will select all these bodies and I will say, okay, insert sizing and uh, element size for this one. I want to have 0.3. Let's see what we get. Our meshing is done. And here is a liquid mesh and you can see I have changed only this mesh and if needed you can add boundary layers. Let's add boundary layer and let's say hide all other bo bodies and I want to add boundary layer. Okay, first let's say inflation. I'm not using name selection for boundary layer. It is always good to use name selection. But anyway, this side on this side, on this side and on this side. And let's say I want to add yeah, five layers, okay. And show all bodies. I'm just adding inflation layer only on one body. Just to show you that you in non-conformal mesh, you can play around e with each zone separately and you can also control your number of elements. We should get this mesh pretty soon. Okay, meshing is done and layer has been added. The solver has changed the type of mesh to tetrahedral and then added five layers. Okay, I'm not going into the detail of uh, tetrahedral, but uh, you don't get any difference in this solution when using tetrahedral or the hexa mesh. Yes, number of element increases, otherwise the solution is same. And here, as I mentioned, if you want to do simulation, you should refine the mesh on this body because here the ratio is much higher and your result will not be accurate. But here you observe that I was controlling the mesh of each region separately. Another thing, as I was mentioning before, you have to take care of the interfaces. So for that, you will go to the connection and 
you will check all of your connections here you will check all your connection individually if they are between the right body and the connections are correct you will go and check for each body separately anyway that's how you have to take care of these interfaces over here here there are some connections which are not correct for example between these two cells it is showing there is an interface but in reality there is a gap between these two elements you have to control this gap and uh, you have to set your tolerance slider so that you will not get any contact between these two elements but uh, the takeaway is that you have to take care of these interfaces over here but uh, you can control your element size and your number of elements for example in this case uh, these are 3 million elements but uh, your mesh is pretty fine and you got pretty good mesh so now let's jump to the conformal mesh and see how we can do conformal mesh and what factors we need to take into account as i mentioned before whenever i say conformal mesh it means we will be using shear topology that you can do in two ways here in space claim you come on your highest level of your geometry and when you select over here in properties you can see shear topology so here you can define if you want to have shear topology or not normally by default it is always none but uh, when you want to have the conformal mesh you will come over here and you will say shear topology in shear topology it uh, deal with this entire geometry as a single unit or as a single body you can do shear topology from here or you can also do in the workbench and here you can see shear topology when you will click over here and it will show you all those surfaces where you will have shear topology you can unselect where you think the surface should not be shared we can say okay this surface is not shared this one is not shared this one this one this one this one so you can select and unselect but you have to do only one from here or from the other side so i already did shared topology from here so i don't need to do from here you can also create conformal mesh by using imprint option which i will show you towards the end of this video but first we will create conformal mesh by using shear topology we will close this one and go to the ansys meshing as i mentioned earlier whenever i start meshing i generate mesh with the default setting just to check the mesh and it is pretty fast here interestingly you can see it has generated conformal mesh where nodes are being shared between different zones but this mesh is uh, pretty coarse and uh, we want to have much finer mesh over here but because node are shared it means if i will make mesh finer over here this mesh will also get finer automatically there are different way you can do fine meshing I will be doing one way so for example this one is 8 I am doing proximity and this one should be 0.6 and with this one we will get a decent mesh and let's do the meshing okay we caught the mesh and let's check the mesh and you can see at this interface we have pretty bad mesh we have to refine this side so now if i refine this side uh, let me make it at the center if i refine mesh on this side the mesh on the other side will also get finer but that's the price you have to pay if you are using conformal mesh let's do only for one side but uh, you have to do for all of these but you can see everywhere you have the conformal mesh let me hide this one I am just uh, doing for this side let me say this edge and I'm saying insert sizing and I'm saying a uh, number of division and uh, here I'm saying 100 show all bodies and generate our mesh code failed sometime you face this kind of error but uh, 
let's try something else let's try to make it uh, i don't know head sizing let's try to make it 80 let's see if it works okay we got the meshing and uh, here you can see we have the node which is being shared between two region and our meshes also got finer on this region so i did only leave on this one if uh, i hide this one you can see here it is still conformer mesh but pretty bad mesh you have to change the sizing for each uh, interface so that you can get the pretty good mesh and uh, here number of elements are already 5 million if you will refine mesh over here your element size will also increases you get a conformal mesh but uh, your element size will increase a lot although you can use poly mesh or you can convert this mesh into polyhedral into fluent or you can use fluent meshing to create polyhedral mesh but that is the topic for another video anyhow i have a video for the fluent meshing where i have shown you how you can create poly mesh in fluent anyway that's you how you can create conformal and non-conformal mesh and here now the next part here the contact you can delete all, all these contacts because as i said you don't need to bother about these contacts because the geometry has shared topology so these contacts will be handled automatically so now you can move to fluent and you can run your simulation for the conformal mesh we use shared topology and uh, as i was saying we can also create conformal mesh without shared topology for that you have to use imprint actually imprint is creating the print of the one surface on the other for that you will go to prepare and click on the imprint and it will create the imprint let me hide a couple of uh, cells let me hide this one this one this one and hide over here okay i am not using this one and also hide this one here you can see with this imprint option i have created the print of those battery cells on these surfaces now if i go to the meshing and create the mesh it will be a conformal mesh so let's close this one and go to the meshing here is our uh, geometry with imprint surface let me hide few surfaces this one this one and uh, let me hide over here and you can see we have this impression of those battery cells on those surfaces i have already created mesh for this body so let me just show you this mesh for this one i have key used one millimeter and i created mesh and uh, you can see we got the conformal mesh with the imprint surface but uh, with the imprint surface you have to take care of those contacts because you are not using shared topology as mentioned earlier shared topology deals with all those bodies as a single body although you can define different cell zone or different properties for those region for the sake of meshing it consider in shared topology as a single body but in imprint it deals with them as a separate body but it creates the conformal mesh here you have to take care of those contacts in my next video i might run the simulation for both of these cases and see how you will deal with the contacts or interfaces for both conformal and non-conformal mesh that's it for today i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you have any question leave them in the comment below thank you for watching and see you in the next video